You are welcome to GST 104, The Use of Library. I'm Dr. Angela Bilokman. I will be taking you through Module 6, Unit 1, Intellectual Property Rights. Intellectual property rights are legal rights over creation of the minds. The law itself grants the author of intellectual creation exclusive rights for exploiting and benefiting from their creation. The purpose of this law is to stimulate creativity of human mind for the benefit of all by ensuring that the advantages that accrue by creation benefit the creator. This will encourage creativity and allow investors in research and development a fair return on their investment. Intellectual property confers on individual enterprises or other entities the right to exclude others from the use of their creations. Now let's look at the different types of protection on intellectual property. You have the patents, which covers new, non-obvious, industrially applicable inventions. You have the trademarks. You have industrial designs, topography of semiconductor products, copyright itself. You have neighboring rights, you have trade secrets, protection against unfair competition. So these are the different types of rights. Copyright law and fair use. Copyright tries to provide a balance between the interest of the author and that of the user. Copyright ensures that somehow the public has some sort of access to a created product. After all, the essence of writing is for the public to appreciate maximally and utilize the idea for self and national development. Now let's look at the fair use. Copyright does not completely prohibit all copying or replication. The Copyright Act of 1976 permits some copying and distribution without permission of the copyright holder or payment or to same. The statute did not clearly define fair use. However, it gave some factors to consider in a fair use. One, the purpose and character of the use must be considered. The nature of the copyrighted work must come into play. The amount and substantiality of the portion used in relation to the copyrighted work as a whole should be considered. The effect of the use upon the potential market for a value of the copyrighted work should also be considered. It is therefore not an infringement to make short quotations from a work for purposes of criticism, teachings, scholarship, or research. Nevertheless, the name of the author and the source of quotation must be acknowledged duly. Still, Dr. Jelly Villapala, we've just been through intellectual property rights. Thank you.